So let's um, give these pavements some height correction because as you have might notice uh, some of the heights for the pavements don't exactly work. You see some terrains actually coming up on the pavement because the pavements are sort of modeled flat in comparison to in real life they will have um, height difference going up and down so let's match the grading um, this one is fine here on the very bottom of the ring however the rest uh, needs to be draped so we're gonna take that so we'll select all the pavements in addition to the terrain that we have and um, other than that we're just gonna hide so Everything else should be hidden. I'm just going to select them and turn off the snapshot. So the terrain is here in the pavement, and all the pavements I'm just going to select and raise them up by 50 feet. So snap it onto blue axis and give it 50 feet. All that. While you selected that, you go to sandbox drape and same to can be fine here so I'll drape and then select the terrain and once you will see the progress bar going it might take a while depending on your machine and once it finishes it should look something like this where all the lines of the pavement have been drawn on here so you go we can go inside of that group and then add this material onto it. So yeah, um, give it the material. Also, it seems like it hasn't cleaned up much. So like that, and add it to it. So yeah, um, it should be all cleaned up. And sometimes the terrain information is not exactly accurate, so the combination of this drape and pavement that you have modeled would be actually the best way to have them in the model. So for example, let's unhide everything. And you'll see there's some funny things going on here. And this pavement not exactly going up there. So we can have a couple of them leveling up to your model so that it would meet somewhere that you would like to and then you can just break it off at one of the points you know, to meet and I would need this one 50 feet below so I'm going to make this one 50 feet And I'll adjust the transparency so that it looks more solid. And I'll actually put this in a separate layer. And if I want to hide them, so I can hide them. 